If you're new to the investing landscape, then you'll probably hear a lot of advice on whether to make quick-fire short-term profits through trading stocks or to reap a much bigger profit by investing in the long term. Money lovers throughout the world are divided between these two approaches, but which one is the better one? Or which one is followed by top-notch financial tycoons in India? In this video, we are going to break down both of these approaches for you guys. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have turned the notifications on, so you don't miss any of the exciting content we are posting. What exactly is the difference between trading and investing? Why do the legendary billionaire investors like Rakesh Junjanwala and many more incline more towards investing in stocks rather than trading them in the short term? And how can we choose the best approach for ourselves and get started in the stock market? There are more than one ways to approach the stock market and many schools of thought exist with the unique strategies on how to buy and sell securities to make profits. One such method, which is widely employed by money lovers throughout the globe, is day trading. Truth be told, many financial advisors term conventional day trading as the best possible way to get rich in the short term. According to Benjamin Graham, the author of the all-time famous The Intelligent Investor, in the short run, the stock market is like a voting machine. In the long run, it's like a weighing machine. So what is the difference between trading and investing? To put it simply, share trading revolves around buying and selling companies listed on two of the leading stock exchanges in India, the Bombay Stock Exchange or BSC and the National Stock Exchange or NSE. Conventional trading means looking out for companies that are good for short-term selling so that you can make a profit based merely on price fluctuations. And sometimes, a person will buy and sell a stock in a single day, which is popularly known as day trading. The goal is to make profits by making use of the fluctuations in the market. In India, people like Rakesh Junjanwala, Radha Kishan Damani, Ram Deogarwal, Vijay Kadia and Ramesh Damani have made billions of rupees by making some perfect trades. Now, as most of you guys already know, there are two stock exchanges in India. The BSE or Bombay Stock Exchange and the NSE or the National Stock Exchange. And there are more than 5,000 companies listed in both of these stock exchanges for traders throughout India. Before you decide to throw all of your savings into trading stocks, there are some risks that you might want to look at. As mentioned earlier, traders rapidly buy and sell stocks. The period can vary from months, days or even minutes on some occasions. Sometimes it can be full of severe financial losses. Many traders endure so many losses in the beginning days of their career that they never quite graduate to profit-making status. Most of the time, a trader buys and sells stocks using borrowed money and when luck has some other plans, they can push themselves into serious trouble. Moreover, traders significantly hinder the potential of their stocks to grow big in the long term, hence resulting in dilute or small profits. With such a small time frame, traders are often forced to make decisions based on fragmented rather than reliable sources. While some traders might win the gamble and make millions in the market, others can perish quite rapidly. Trading involves profits that are revolving around market volatility and the market is not the best place to play at. Day trading, for example, involves buying and selling stocks on the same day and swing trading may expand the process to days, months or even years in some instances. There are other facets of trading as well, but they all tend to fall in a shorter time frame. But not all money lovers seem to be inclined towards trading stocks. Some of them love to buy and hold these stocks to make gigantic profits in the long term. And this time, they're not even depending upon the short-term price fluctuations. This phenomenon, in which investors buy shares of different companies to stay invested over a long period, is known as investing in stocks. While trading involves rapid buying and selling, and traders are like foxes before quick-fire money, on the other hand, investors are always looking for long-term benefits. Investors tend to study the business models of the companies they are targeting to invest their money in. They will go through details like the financial statements, balance sheets and cash flow statements to see if the business they are investing in is likely to grow in the future or not. 
Unlike traders, investors are different in their approach towards stocks. There are two ways in which investors differ from traders. Timing and analysis of stocks. You see, investing is more of a long-term game, whereas trading is dependent on the short term. An investor is someone who places his money in a business while keeping in mind that his money can compound in the long run and he can make significant profits. While investors depend on true and gradual appreciations, traders depend on market volatility. When you're investing in stocks, you're confident that the company you're investing in will grow over time by either expanding its asset base or by outperforming its rival companies. And you will sell that stock in 5, 10, 20 or even 40 years or even hold it forever. For example, investors may tend to hold on to a stock for 5, 10, 15 or even 39 years in some cases, whereas traders tend to get rid of these stocks whenever they see the prices surging. Investors may buy a stock when its price is low, but when the purchase is made, they usually hold on to it for a long while. When it comes to the analysis of stocks, it is pretty much the biggest bone of contention between the two approaches. For this, we need to understand the difference between a stock's price and its intrinsic value. Speaking theoretically, the price of a stock only reflects the number of people buying and selling that stock, whereas the intrinsic value is the true worth of the stock. Now, the stock prices can often collapse amidst the greed and fear of some people, which hinder the buying and selling of stocks, leading to decreased prices. There are two approaches to the world of investing. Passive investors tend to ignore the prices of stocks and tend to buy quality businesses even if they're struggling, knowing that even if they do buy an overpriced stock, they can rely on the intrinsic value to rise over time. On the other hand, we have active investors who tend to estimate the stock's intrinsic value so that they can buy stocks for less than their actual value. When investing, the investors are buying into the businesses and sometimes it's more likely that the companies they're investing in might offer them stable dividends, which come in as some stable cash often satisfying the investors. Traders, on the other hand, only care about the stock's price. There's no attempt to understand or even consider the stock's intrinsic value. Why Rakesh Junjanwala inclined more towards investing than towards trading? The legendary investor has himself made a significant fortune from short-term selling, yet he won't recommend this approach to anyone else stepping into the share market. In one of his sessions at the Sri Ram Economic Summit 2021, he said, My personal opinion to people is don't trade. Out of 10 lakh, 9.99 lakh lose. Trading requires the basic defeat of the human ego, which very few people have. It needs recognition that markets go to extremes on both sides. There's nothing logical or reasonable here. Junchunwala cautions other people against trading, as according to him, it's a high-risk strategy, which will only bring short-term gratification. And interestingly, the only reason he started trading was the lack of initial capital to start his investing journey. Yet, if anyone is keen on learning more about trading, then the big bull may have a word or two more for you. If you want to be a good trader and a good investor, then do one thing. Keep the two apart. Don't let one drive decisions for the other. I don't mix my trading with investment. If I buy a stock and it goes down, I don't put it in my investment portfolio. Trading and investing both have their pros and cons. And both of them, if utilized with perfection, can yield great results for any trader or investor. Whether you're earning 10,000 rupees daily or you're looking at some 1 crore rupees after some months, both of these profits have their charm. But it completely depends on people as to which approach they're more comfortable with. So are you a conventional trader or more like a quick-witted investor willing to play long? Which approach are you looking to follow in your journey towards your financial freedom? That was all for today. Let us know in the comment section below if you want us to make a detailed video on both of these approaches separately. Till then, stay subscribed and press that notifications button so that you don't miss out on anything. Omega Finance, signing out.